Hey guys, Melis Fear here. How y'all doing? Welcome to another fun filled episode of The Walking Dead. Connected. <laughs> Let's play. Let's. We are so continuing on our episode 3 a long road ahead. I'm just gonna. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're still. Continuing. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. I <clears throat> keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. Seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean, when we get to Savannah. We got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. Yeah. You said it. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink. It's okay, Joe. You know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be <laughs> safe up here. You betcha. You a truck, you idiot. You don't need that wine. It's bad for you. <sighs> well, now that I can talk a little bit. I don't like interrupting that much into that sort of deal. Yeah, don't touch, we just shouldn't touch any of that. Hey, man. You and me, we. Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Full of maps and documents. Mind if I could buy you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? I guess that's a no, huh? Hey. Yeah. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Oh look, I'm out. 
You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Okay, fine. I'm leaving. I'm leaving you alone. I'm going out the door. Alrighty then. Hello, Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. Guess not. See you. Yeah. The door to the boxcar. All right. Hope we're not on this train much longer. Yeah, that's where they sat. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. It's a fifth of whiskey. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. Well, let's open it up, Bob. lived here a while. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. Well, what should we do? Well, we'll figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. Then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, it was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. Oops! <laughs> Have a bad shot. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Bit to the right. Uh. Close. Now keep it steady. Damn! I have a really bad shot. Okay. A little bit more to the left. A little higher. Damn! I am really bad at this! <laughs> I knew it was bad. So no wonder I need the practice. Okay. Close. Now keep it steady. Uh... Okay, a little higher. 
Ah. <laughs> it just feels like okay. Keep it steady. Okay. Okay. Um. Even a little bit to the right. More to the right. And then steady now. Almost got it. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. <sighs> okay, I think I got this now. Okay. So we want to aim to the okay. left. Aim a little bit more to the left. And aim a little higher. <laughs> there you go. Nice. My, my MC isn't perfect. I'm so excited. All right. I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far no. from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Not if it's not pointed at you like that. You're not breathing. It's not so scary. And it took me a while. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. <laughs> Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. <laughs> do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. <laughs> no, you look cute and a lot harder to grab. I'm sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. <laughs> What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm 
glad I came with you. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Me three. I love how I grabbed everything in here. So this is where they were. It's really sad when you gotta. It's the only thing. Hey Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just thinking about it. Hi, Kenny. Welcome home. How we doing? Have we gotten a better mood? I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. I was straight up on it. <laughs> well, the girl can shoot. Doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. sure. I could probably use one right about mm. now. Not day I have. Oh, it's finished. No kid. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd help. There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. All right, well, I guess that was all in for there. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. See you. Yeah. They so thrilled to be here. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Let's do the eyebrow. Look. said they had my friend, that he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No, just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. You still want to talk to me? Yeah. yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. Yeah. See you. Yeah. I kind of don't want to say that. 
because I, I really think he should. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and they're not what happened to them I'm sure they're okay I think I heard them die they're not dead do you want them to be don't be ridiculous I don't want you to get hurt any more than you have let's look at the map if we can figure out where they were we can start there okay let's looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up Got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh. Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M. M. something. Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! That's pretty loud. All I can think of is like, you know, before it stops, the walkers are like, Dead to me. <sighs> no, ain't that just lovely? Walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! 
What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Okay, let's see. What's in here? Remember the start, like, with things? And... What's this? Oh, duct tape! That's about the only useful thing in here. That's for sure! How much you could do with a stop sign except say, Don't hit me! Stop! Stop! I put a coat hat on the zombie. Or something. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. Hmm. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Oh, well, Shell, you're old, woman. I'm going down. I'm coming down. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Oh, man. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to him. Oh, I understand. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. <laughs> oh, dear lord. What were you guys arguing about? What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, it'd be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask me. He likes to break things. I can't have it. My nose is gonna go this big. Being so nosy. Ah. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. <laughs> Chatty's up in there.
Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Oh, shit. Walkers, man. You know, sometimes you might see me take care of one because I have to. Don't start thinking they don't horrify me. I'm glad somebody else feels that way. I'm telling you, Lee, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of you. I don't know. If you know a train, might be a good. Hit. You know, if you guys are if you guys are in a zombie apocalypse, I think it would be a good idea to actually. Uh... Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do. But it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. <laughs> Survivors in time. Imports. That can't be imports. Pay. Oh, Ray. Ray. Not pay. <laughs> I seem to see it better if I don't even click on it. Okay, what the hell? Let me down! I don't want down! Jeez, gotta go to the stupid stairs just to jump down. Really? Oh. Hello. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> mm. Won't burn. Windows open up there. Maybe I could look in. We'll have to find a way in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. <laughs> How did she fit? Ah, I wish. Oh man. Have I already creeped out? Oh, that was good. Damn, it's dark in here. Yeah, Maybe they? I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. That thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. That was a bit scary. How are we doing? Good. What do we need? 
Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Okay. They didn't have much business back then. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Mm -hmm. We're locked up good. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Oh, great, that means I got a booster again. Oh, How man. we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Okay, what's this? There's got to be something useful in here. Okay, we do anything else. Okay. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Ah, no. Oh shit! Oh shit! Nice, zombies. Okay, back up. Back up. Uh, uh, get away! Get away! Get away! Good lord! It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh shit. Oh shit! Woohoo! Keys, now! God damn it, it's locked! Ah, <sighs> good lord. <sighs> good lord. God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yep. <laughs> The scariest shit ever. Ooh. It was stupid. You think? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to teach her how to take care of herself. We're getting used to working together. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. We got it. Let's go outside now. Yes, what let's go learned? outside. I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. Or we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Oh, yeah. Just adrenaline rush, adrenaline rush. Oh, I guess I lost my ear. What else? Yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, that was scary. 
I'm just wondering where he I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Actually, I want to talk to everybody first. Let's <laughs> see how Kenny's doing. We'll start with Ken Ken. I guess I can't talk to Ken Ken. Let's start the band and see how we're doing. As soon as that thing comes down, we'll be on our way. Yeah. And I hope we won't have any more trouble out of you. I promise you won't. There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. The tape. The tape that found. Now, I wasn't really oh, sure where that was because I was... Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? But that was just, like, so obvious right there, really, did. Crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. You know you're gonna need Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are? God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Oh, we were so weird. That would be a mob. That would be a freaking mob. Guys, there's something coming. What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go. Fuck. Omi, cut, cut. I am! It's going! Pull me up! Kenny, go! Shit! What the hell do we do now? We gotta jump! What? No way! Yeah, way, man! Move your ass! Oh man, I hate hearts too. Guys! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Ugh. Capable? It's okay, honey. I'm okay. That was a 
lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. That is a lot of them. Oh man. I heard, you know. I freaking heard. Oh man. Pennies, Patron, Doug. Next stop, the Atlantic. We find in Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll never get over today. That's all I keep thinking. Try to think about what's ahead of you. That's why I keep thinking it. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Hmm. Let me clue. Clementine. Down. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. Episode four, around the corner. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how marvelous I did. Now, you guys seen in this part of the game that I basically changed, like, when I was talking to Chuck, so... Did you shoot the girl in the street? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did. And I have no clue how, I still have no clue how that frig I, I shot her. How the frig did I shoot her? It's like, I was aiming at the zombie. I was aiming at the friggin' time. Oh, okay. Did you, did you abandon Lily? Hell yeah, I did. You and 42% of the players left her. I left her because she's Stand up. Did you fight Kenny? You and 44% of the players talked him down. I did. That's how I should do. A heavy burden. Did you shoot Duck? I did. I didn't want him to shoot Duck. I don't want to shoot any more kids, that's for sure. A helping hand. Did you have Omid? Yes, I did. I have Omid. Alright guys, well, that is The Walking Dead. I really hope you enjoyed my lovely commentary. Uh, my lovely pretty face. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much. And then, you know, anybody that has been liking 
on supporting uh, my channel so far. I really appreciate it. Two thumbs up to you. And if you haven't dropped me a line, I really appreciate that too. I know that this has been out already, and I know more of the games that I am going to be playing or have been out already. And I just play them for fun, so I just wanting to play my games that I really enjoy. So if you're staying with me for whatever games that I'm playing, cool. So I hope you guys are enjoying my gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the next video of Episode 4 of The Walking Dead. Gonna see you guys later.